We are on a hunt for hidden treasure deep in Tioro district on Ruo River. Come with us. Let's discover it together. So what's so special about Mabwasa? So Mabwasa is very popular about the being a headquarters of uh, the Adventists and they have a school of medicine of uh, great repute and the, the other thing is basically uh, the tea. Please take note when you are going to Zoa Falls the turn off is at Tekerani Market, Tekerani Trading Center. That's where you turn off. People tend to get lost along the way. Continue on T420 for 5 kilometers. Zo <laughs> Mazao, <laughs> think we are lost. We are lost. We are supposed to go to Tegelani, not in Zoa Estate. So we have to go back. Hey, no, I thought that's a bad boy. I wouldn't matter. Be able to take it on. I don't know what's in the field, my dude. Oh, then not be able to take it on. I didn't 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 take I don't want to Hey guys, we are lost. So we came to the Zoa uh, estate. Actually, we are going until we reached a certain point. A trading center it's called 50 and when we tried to ask for directions they told us to go back we told them that we are going to zoa falls they mistook that for zoa forest so they had to misdirect us and um we, we we came back to this place which is quite far away from the destination where we're going so we have to turn back because we really need to go to the falls the matiti we'll go back to the same place then to take it any at the Tegerani market, that's where we are going to ask the directions to the falls, to the Matiti.
Oh, <laughs> 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 Zora Falls is at TN Subway, traditional Tholiden Subway, Chipangula Village. That's where it is. That's where I'm going to go. Hey, I'm going to go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Now we are starting our walking journey. We are just stopped here at the, the Tatula's place. Yeah. The, this, we are starting off with these boys. They will lead the way. Yeah. So, guys, uh, at least now there is hope that we are getting there. Great. Trains used to pass here. This is what is remaining of the railway line. It's no longer functional. What will happen? Yeah. Oh, so this is the Roo River, where the falls is. It is functional. Eh. <laughs> There's no falls on Ruo River. There it is, guys. The other side there is the Mozambican side. So that's Mozambican side. The Malawi government is not doing anything about this. No signage to the place. Nothing, nothing. We're not promoting this place. Yet it's such a beautiful, wonderful place. If it could be promoted as a tourist attraction place. So this is the chief, the woman in red. She's the one who was uh, giving us uh, permission to go to this um, And uh, besides me, is one of the uh, members of that community. This rock was so slippery and uh, I had difficulties descending. You need to be without a faint heart really to come to this place.
And I understand there is always a rainbow here at the falls. As you can see, the rainbow just right there. So our falls on Luo River, Malawi, bordering Mozambique, the other side. Yeah, and this side is Malawi, the warm part of Africa. So amazing. Creation is so amazing. Yeah, God took his time. That's super good. So, so this is where the water is going on the river. It will confluence with the uh, Shire River down there. Banamar <laughs> during rainy time the water fills up this whole place this whole river to the point that we can't even reach this place we have to stay up where we are coming from we cannot come down when it ever it's raining so yeah, at least we are we are lucky that we came this time around we are able to see the falls we are able to come down on these rocks and enjoy ourselves have to sign in the book for visitors but my plea is for the government of Malawi to do something about this place there is no signage so difficult to come to this place actually we are, we are lost on the way yeah so I don't know I don't know so far we've passed how many trucks so far yeah this is the fourth one. Oh, these are going to get pigeon peas yeah, all these trucks are going to get pigeon peas. So this is just evidence that here, the cash crop, main cash crop is pigeon peas. Yeah, as you can see, all these farms are for the fields are for the pigeon peas. No, there is no maize here. I don't know if these people from here are given AIP, agricultural input subsidy. I don't know if they are given for maize, but if they are to give them maize then it's not useful to them because they, their main crop is the pigeon pea and they also farm cassava, bananas, I've seen a little bit potato but there's no maize here. So it was a waste to give them um, fertilizer and maize. We have to find something else and this is um, the house that the government built belonging to a field officer, extension worker but it's not for agriculture but it's not yet inhabited now i think all the extension workers left the field yeah so that's the house <laughs> we're coming back from zoa falls chipangula senior group manager man ds sabe and uh it's a beautiful place honestly You really need to have a very good vehicle, a 4x4 vehicle, um, for you to move properly and safely. 
earth to so our force. Otherwise, um, rail would be the perfect mode of transportation. So if that railway line could be fixed, it was washed up by the um, floods. So if it could be fixed and the trains could come back, that would be a plus for Malawi. Hotel is, <laughs> Hotel is better than camping. <laughs> Who said you'll be camping? Okay, next time we go to Zoa Falls, you come. Yeah. Why? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for now for today. Stay blessed. You can show them the sun, the sunset, but this is just a uh, Mrs. Cotter to find.